Kim Mosier, and I'm from Taylor Mill, Kentucky. So I'd been around the legislature, and so it wasn't completely unfamiliar to me. I had been asked to run um, just because I've been very involved over the years, and the timing was never perfect, as, as that um, is the usual case with everything, I, I realize. But the stars kind of aligned, I think, when, when Representative Tom Kerr decided to retire, and he called and he asked me if I was interested in running. And I thought it was really the perfect time to take on this role. My background is nursing. Uh, I have my BSN in nursing. I, I served as a neonatal intensive care nurse at several hospitals over many years. And I was also a flight nurse for University of Kentucky neonatal flight team or transport team. Um, so, so that really formulated a lot of my health care um, experience and certainly working with the Kentucky Medical Association. My husband's a physician and so I became very involved with the KMA and the KMA Alliance which is really the philanthropic and volunteer arm of that organization. And so I, I worked on um, legislative issues. I think that there are still many many issues that we need to deal with um, around addiction. I would like to um, work with law enforcement on stiffer penalties for true traffickers. And of course now we have um, even, even more dangerous drugs to deal with than heroin even. We have fentanyl and carfentanil and we have, um, so it's a whole schedule one drug issue I think that um, I'd like to deal with. We have mental health issues in that um, a lot of services are not covered and um, we have we have great treatment needs still in our state so you know I'd like to focus on bringing more treatment to the folks who need it desperately and to get folks out of the cycle of relapse and recidivism. I think that the um, the professionalism and the the focus of our current leadership in our majority has um, positively surprised me and uh, so I'm impressed. I, um, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. It's a lot of fun to really be getting uh, some work done for, for a state. I have such a feeling of awe every time I walk into the Capitol. Um, it really is, um, it, it's an honor, but the sense of responsibility I think really hit me when I got here. Um, not that I didn't take it seriously before, but I think when you walk into the body um, and the Capitol itself, you really realize what takes place here and um, kind of the history and, uh, and the positive work that we can do and, and what we can really get done. Uh, my name is Matt Castlin. I'm from Eastern Davis County in a little town called Thruston. You know, what made me want to pursue a position, uh, I grew up on a family farm uh, in Thurston, Kentucky, and uh, shortly after graduating high school, I started a company called Castle & Steel with my wife, and uh, I'm 30 years old now, and so we got to spend 10 very blessed years uh, in our business and, and grow it to what it is today, and I call that the American dream. And as a guy who got to do that, having a three-year-old and a six-year-old, I wanted to do something to stand up for the working men and women of this commonwealth, to stand up for the business owners, continue to see the American dream go on for generations to come. So like I say, I'm owner of Castle and Steel, so we do a lot of heavy fabrication. We work in a lot of the power plants and the aluminum smelters on the farms, fertilizer facilities. So I have a great appreciation and understanding of how industry works, you know, and being a business owner, there's three things that make up a business. That's opportunity, ambition, and a product or a service. And so many times you hear legislators say, you know, I want to bring jobs to my community. I want to bring jobs to my area. The government doesn't create jobs. Private enterprise creates jobs, but as a government, we should be governing in a way that opens opportunity up, that deregs things, that allows it to make it easier for businesses to prosper in our community. I'm very humble to serve the people, and uh, you know, knowing that there's over 13,000 people back home that cast a vote for me to represent them and to be their voice, it was very humbling. And just being here and being a part of it, the day that I held my right hand up and was sworn in, you know, it uh, it all started coming to me that I have a great responsibility to govern in a way that's not only my opinion, but the people's opinion. 
to represent the state of Kentucky. It is very humbling. You know, the Commonwealth of Kentucky has so many opportunities geographically where we lay with all the natural resources that we have, the river, the rail, the infrastructure, the highways. To be able to represent a Commonwealth with a diverse background like that, there's so much opportunity here. And that's what I can't wait to see what's gonna happen coming in the future. Steve Riley from Glasgow, Kentucky. Well, I, I've uh, worked in the uh, in Barron County for a number of years. I worked in education for 31 years, and, and I felt like in that I served the people. In that case, happened to be uh, young people and their and their families. And and uh, when I retired, uh, I knew I wanted to do something productive, and it just kind of evolved that, that I I made the decision to run for office and and uh, look forward to, the, to that opportunity. Worked hard in the campaign, and uh, so I, I I really want to serve the people of my community. They've done a lot for myself and my family, and I feel like I, I owe something to my community. I worked for three years at a, at a junior college, Lindsey Wilson College. At that time, it was a two-year school in, in the early 80s, and, uh, and that was in Columbia, Kentucky. And then after that, I, I moved to Glasgow, started working in the Barron County uh, school system at Barron County High School, and taught for, for uh, 12 years. Uh, I was an administrator for 19 years. Uh, 15 of those as an assistant principal, four as a, as a principal. And also during that time, I coached basketball for about 20 years there. So um, I had a very a wide variety of experiences there. And, and obviously when you, when you work with people and you work with people of all ages, but especially young people, it, it uh, has a lot to do with uh, making a philosophy of yours that, that you want to do what's in the best interest of, of, of the people that you serve. Obviously, I, I, think, I think our job is kind of twofold. I think one, we serve the people of our district, and I'm in the 23rd district, which is the entirety of Barron County, uh, the people that I've been dealing with for, for 30 years, in a small segment of uh, Warren County, of one precinct, uh, and that's the county I grew up in, was Warren County. So uh, I, I think a lot of that is, is, is just, I want to serve them, and that's, I think, the first job. And then, and then the second job, obviously, is to serve the Commonwealth of Kentucky and try to uh, look at doing policies and rules and regulations that are in the best interest of the state, um, but also in the best interest of the, of the community that I live in and I serve. One thing that I, I have been impressed by is that no matter how heated it gets on the floor, everybody seems to work well together off of it, shake hands, and, and as Speaker Hoover said early on, we can disagree without being disagreeable. And, and I've seen some of that, and that's, I've been impressed by that. You know, I, I, was, I grew up in this state, and I love the state of Kentucky and, and, and what it means and what it stands for. And, you know, I, I want to make life, I want to do what little bit I can do to make life better for, for our citizens in this state and, and the citizens of the community that I, that I live in. And, and uh, that's all I want to do. I, I, I've had a career. Um, you know, I think sometimes people have political ambitions when they come up here. I don't really have any political ambitions because I've served my career. Uh, and had that, now I just want to work to serve, serve the people.